I saw so many people struggling with the same difficult passage from Schumann fantasy pieces. So today I would like to show you the fingering I'm using to help you out about that. As you might already know, Schumann fantasy pieces is a wonderful piece of classical repertoire. And actually, when you look at the score, it seems quite easy. But when you start to play, you see that it's really difficult to play some of these passages really legato and with a good support because you need some special fingerings. The fingering which I'm going to show you is the one you should always use with this kind of passages all the time. So I guess you wonder already which passage I'm talking about. And this is this octave in between E flats. <laughs> There are many possible fingering options for altissimo notes to play this octave between E flats with a good intonation and with a good song and with a good legato. We need to know the right fingering. So, what are the possibilities? Let's talk about this first. The fingering I usually use to play E flat is this one. It always sounds right. I mean, the intonation, it sounds nice, the tone is nice, but it's not possible to use this fingering with all the intervals. Actually, you can use this fingering only in between these notes. I'm going to show you from this F till this D. possible it's a little bit more difficult but still possible and also from the notes under this B I mean It's also difficult because you see it's impossible to do like to make this jump is impossible to make it legato also the same thing on the octave and actually that's the passage from Schumann fantasy pieces so this fingering is impossible for Schumann. So what is next? So there is another fingering possibility which is this one. Actually I basically never use this because it's super flat. So here I have a suggestion. If you really want to use this position please don't use this key. Use this one instead. And now you're going to see the difference. So this is the good one. But what you're doing is this one. Especially if I use no support. And if I don't push myself really much to correct the intonation, it's never works at all but the other one is okay with the right support with the right intonation thinking it works perfectly actually so that's how i play it there is another possibility to play this passage which I find probably the best for the intonation and for the sound and you can make a really nice legato with it also 
So you play an F sharp plus this key here. So let's try. And let's play Schumann's passage with this fingering now. to play the passage with these four fingerings possibility and you are going to choose which sounds the best I hope that this tip will be helpful for you to play this octave passage. If it does, please don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you next time!